Hey guys, and welcome back to Mad About Skin. In today's video, we are talking the skincare favourites of 2021. Well, so far at least. Yes, I know, we're only technically halfway through 2021, but I feel so much has gone on in the skincare world. We've had new brand launches, we've new had product arrivals, I've tried new brands, and so, so much has changed. I filmed a similar video capturing my favourites of 2020, which I'll leave a link to up there. Whilst that's a little bit out of date, I have carried forward some of my favourites from last year, so maybe check that video out as well to do a compare and contrast. But there's a whole suite of new products I want to fangirl hard about now. There's so much going on in the world, I thought let's bring back the positivity and spend 20 minutes together fangirling over some great skincare. If you're all about the positivity, I'd love if you could leave this video a like, because this really helped me and the channel. But while you're down there, leave me a comment to tell me what is your number one holy grail of 2021 so far. Anyway, that's the waffle out of the way. Let's cut that and jump straight on in, because I've got a lot to get through. And in at number 10, is this product. This is the Sunday Riley Saturn Sulfur Treatment Mask. Now, this isn't a new product launch, but it only became available here in the UK this year. And honestly, I've wanted to try this for so, so long. I have super reactive, breakout prone skin, and so sulfur has been one of my saviors over the years, for really just calming the redness of the zit, helping to reduce the heal time, and just do everything wonderful for my acne. This honestly, has been a ride or die favourite. So in here, you've got some fantastic ingredients such as sulphur, which will help inflammation, calm the area and help dry out the zit. You've also got salicylic acid, you've got some niacinamide, all the things that you need in a spot treatment. Some spot treatments in the past have stripped and dried the skin, which actually means it takes longer to heal. That's just not the right thing to do. This doesn't do that. It's hydrating, it's got antioxidants in here, it's got some great, great acne fighting ingredients, and all around is a ding, 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 holy grail that I recommend you get your hands on if like me you're prone to the odd blemish it's not the cheapest product out there i've left a link to this as i will all of the products today in the description box below if you want to check it out not the cheapest product and if you kind of want a more affordable dupe the succinic acid treatment by the inky list is very similar though i do think the um, saturn does pack a slightly harder punch when it comes to fighting those zits now in at number nine, fresh in in the number nine position, it's actually a cleanser. And this is from the Inky List. This is the Fulvic Acid Brightening Cleanser. This caused a bit of controversy when it launched about six or eight months ago because they're calling it Fulvic Acid Brightening, where actually Fulvic Acid is way, way, way down on the ingredients list. So it's really calling out a product, an ingredient which isn't doing a whole lot of heavy lifting in this. I get that, but do you know what? It's just a really great cleanser. It feels gorgeous on the skin. It doesn't strip or dry, and yet you still get a very nice foaming action with it. Usually when something foams, I think, oh, that could be a bit drying on my skin. Not with this. Beautifully hydrating and foaming at the same time, which is really rare to find. I've been using, this is like my third bottle. I've probably been using it for like three, four months now, and I'd say I have got some brightening from it. Is it game changing? Do you need to wear your sunglasses every time you see me? Absolutely not. But you know what? A little bit of brightening in a cleanser, which is already drugstore affordable and a gorgeous cleanser, I think it's a really, really good thing. For those of you that are kind of wondering what my thoughts on the um, Hiram skincare line, I already captured it in a recent video, I'll link up there. But this cleanser, which is the Selfless by Hiram Centella and Green Tea Cleanser, has a really similar feel to this. So if you're wondering whether to purchase this product or not, if you like this product by the Inculist, you'll probably really like this. It's got a very similar texture. It's got a very similar feel and feel foam and it kind of has that same hydrating qualities which I really like. So whilst this is my favourite, favourite, favourite product for um, in terms of the price point, the Selfless by Hiram I think is a very, very similar product to this and I'm also loving it. Now hot in at number eight is this product, the Stratia Liquid Gold. Now this definitely didn't feature in last year's video because I only discovered it this year and I've been fangirling so hard. This product is gorgeous for anyone that's suffering with redness, irritation, dryness and a bit of an impaired barrier function to the skin, this will be your holy grail saviour. It combines ceramides and other barrier repairing and boosting ingredients and it's just all around a fantastic serum. It's super hydrating so if like me you have very oily acne prone skin you can almost use it as your end step, your moisturiser in your evening skincare routine and you wake up the next morning with the most gorgeous baby soft smooth skin. There's so much less prone to sensitivity, just a stunning product. It's not the cheapest out there so I'm going to call this out, it's not the cheapest product out there when compared to some other barrier serums. However, it works and that's why I do keep reaching for it time and time again. If like me you're not prone to sensitivity and you don't have issues, ongoing issues with your skin barrier then I tend to just use this when I need it. Maybe I've got a bit of sun during the day and my skin's a bit drier than normal. Maybe I've got a bit heavy on the exfoliator and I'm a bit more sensitive than I usually would be. I slap this on before bed and I wake up with all right with the world again. 
Honestly, such, such a great product and one that I would definitely, definitely recommend. It's also a fantastic dupe for the Great Barrier Repair Cream by Crave. If you can't get hold of that because it's only available in North America and I think Australia now, this is a really great option for you to reach for. In fact, I'd say it's almost a little bit better. So I'm loath to actually call it a dupe. Such a great product and a ding, 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 10 out of 10. Now, in at number seven and six, is that they're joint favorites. I couldn't really choose between these two, which are my two sunscreens, that I use for very different purposes. This is the Make Prem UV Fluid. I love this. Now, there was a bit of an issue going on at the start of this year when they discontinued their old super matte formulation and reintroduced this hybrid version. I actually think this is a better formulation overall. It now contains ceramides. They've released the testing that's associated with it so you know it's locked in, guaranteed SPF protection. And it's got things like panthenol that calm and soothe the skin. Whilst it's a hybrid which combines chemical and mineral UV filters, I love that because I found that the old formulation was a little bit too matte, even for my like super oily, greasy skin. This just works beautifully for me. I'd say this will work really well if you have um, oily skin or if you have combination skin. If you have a drier skin type, you might wanna be a bit cautious because I still think it could be a little on the drying if you have pre-existing dehydration to the skin, but overall, a stunning product. If you want to know a little bit more about the reformulation, how it happened, the testing and the new ingredients and formulation, I'm going to leave a link to a video I did up there where I captured more than I could do in this video. But this is like bottle number three and honestly, I absolutely adore it. In joint position is this. This is the Skinny's Sun Gel. So the reason I've combined the two is this is my day-to-day -day SPF. If I need something, if I'm out and about, a bit more heavy duty, something that I can slap on and go, this Skin is, is my go-to. Such a great brand, cruelty-free as are all of the products I'm mentioning today, and I absolutely adore them. This is actually water-free, and it's packed full of shea butter. So if you find that the Make Prem is a little bit on the drying side for your skin, this, the exact opposite. I adore this, and honestly, a little, they say a little goes a long way, though I'm always lavish with my sunscreens because I feel like to get that guaranteed protection, you need to apply the right amount, but this blends like butter on the skin. Disappears like that, no white cast, no hue to the skin, and it just leaves this veil of hydration that is honestly unparalleled. If, like me, you have oily skin, don't use a moisturizer, just use this as your moisturizer. If you have dry skin, you can obviously pair it with your moisturizer to lock in that hydration. Such a great product. I wanna give a quick shout out to um, Danny, Sean and Celia, who I know are part of the Skinny's Fangirl Collective and be using this product alongside me and loving it. I know so many of the rest of you out there love this product when you've tried it. So sound off in the comments if you have any thoughts and feelings on it. But honestly, such a great heavy duty, tried, tested, verified, SPF, doing all the good stuff for your skin and protecting it. Just honestly, so, so good. Now, we're into the top five and fifth place is going to this product, which is the Beauty of Yosen Dynasty Cream. So, so good. Just everything, it's whipped, it's light, it's airy. It's one of those few products I think works well for dry skin as well as oily skin, which is super, super difficult to find. Obviously, if like me, are prone to breakouts, go a little bit careful with any new thicker moisturizer just to make sure that it's not causing any issues. But I absolutely adore this product. One of my Rhino Dye favorites, it looks bougie. I could have probably featured more Beauty of Yosin in this rundown, if I'm honest, because I'm pretty obsessed with the brand at the moment. But I didn't want to clog up the whole video with one brand. So I'll leave a link up there to a Beauty of Yosin review if you do want to know my thoughts and feelings on that brand and some of their best products. If I'm doing a shout out for this product, it's got to, got to go to Jenny, who I don't, she was the one that put me onto Beauty of Yosin to start with. Fantastic friend and subscriber absolutely loved it. So I'm giving a big shout out to Jenny for putting me onto the brand and honestly my love of them has just exploded and gone from product to product to product. <laughs> now as we enter the top four I know there's a couple of you that are screaming and expecting to see the liquid hydration by Geek and Gorgeous. Well look I wasn't going to do you wrong. Anyone that's been on this channel for a while knows that I am pretty obsessed with this product. This is the liquid hydration by Geek and Gorgeous. Okay I'm not going to labour the point because I have mentioned this literally so many times on the channel. So good feels gorgeous on the skin, hydrates. You could do multiple layers between serums if you want to keep the skin damp and also lock in extra layers of hydration. It's got panthenol, so it calms, soothes. It's got um, skin compatible amino acids, so it'll irritate the skin, but it will give that burst of hydration. I love it. They now do it in a mist. Like, this was like a revelation. It's the same product, just in a mist bottle. But you know what? So, so good. Keep it in the fridge, get that mist. And when you're feeling a bit flustered, maybe the heat's got to you, maybe you're having a little bit of a stress in the day, just, oh, spritz that cool mist on your skin and everything will be okay again. So, so good. I've left a link to all of the products, but I will leave a link um, highlighted the mist because I definitely think of the two, 
get the mist because it feels so good. It feels so bougie and yet it's really, really inexpensive. I adore Geek and Gorgeous, but I honestly think, you know, when it comes to their standout products, this and one that is still to come in this list is a little bit of a spoiler, are my two absolute favourites. Now, for the top three, it's going to start with last year's number one. So, sleeping two places, but still, let's be honest, packed full of amazing, amazing skincare in this video. So, third place is still ding, 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 holy grail territory. This is this. This is a Hylamide Sub-Q Skin. I love this. This was my favorite, favorite serum of last year, and it's still up there. Every single day, I apply this to my skin. It's got a beautiful blend of peptides, which are gonna help hydrate the skin. They're gonna have some anti-aging, collagen-boosting benefits. They're also gonna help to even out the skin tone. So it's kind of like an all-in-one serum. If you're having a cheat day and you want something super quick and easy that you could just throw on your skin and almost have like a good skin day from one bottle, one product, I think this is as close as you're going to come so, so good. I love the formulation. It's light. It doesn't clog the skin. It's not packed full of too many ingredients that could counteract some of the other skincare. Pairs beautifully and disappears like that. Just a great product. They do do it in a mist as well, which is a different formulation. So unlike the Geek and Gorgeous, where I said it was just the same product in a mist bottle, this is different. So the mist does work slightly differently. You can pair the two together for that ultimate hydration boost. Spritz the mist all over the skin. Apply a layer of this and you've got locked in guaranteed hydration for the rest of the day. So, so good. Yes, it's not the number one this year so far, but honestly, I'm still clinging onto it and I've got so many bottles in reserve because I don't ever want to be without it. Now, in at number two is another Geek and Gorgeous. It was a very, very close call, but I'm gonna call this, this is the Geek and Gorgeous A Game Retinol. I love this. I've tried so hard to find an over-the-counter high-strength vitamin A derivative, and it can be really, really difficult to find. Either you don't get the same effects as you think you're going to get, because brands often over-promise and under-deliver, or they're quite stripping and quite harsh. This is probably one of the highest-strength retinols you'll find over-the-counter. It works beautifully for your fine lines, wrinkles, boosting that collagen, increasing that cellular turnover just an absolute ride or die favorite. What makes this super special and why it's so high in the list though, is it also has so many hydrators in here. If you find that your retinol product strips and dries your skin and you can never really get past that dry stage that you often start with, try this product. It comes in two strengths. This is the high strength, but they also do a medium strength as well, which is great because it makes it easy to understand. You click on the website, you know what you're buying. And if you don't have the full understanding of kind of how different retinols work, it can be so baffling. Doesn't need to be. Geek and Gorgeous have got you covered and I love, love, love this product. I'm probably on like bottle five, six now. And honestly, I don't want to be without this one. Now, coming in at number one, I am going to cheat because I thought long and hard about this and whether it was cheating, but then I thought, you know, it's my channel, so I could break the rules if I want because I'm going to have a joint first place winner. And it's these two products, the Neod Repigment, and this is the Lumizela Serum by Face Theory. Used to be called the Azaclear Serum, which was easier to pronounce, but they've rebranded exactly the same formulation, just with a different name and slightly different packaging. Both of these absolute favorites. And because they come for pigmentation, I use both to tackle my hyperpigmentation and they work so, so well. Since my early 20s, I've suffered with acne and scarring, which often pigments and takes ages to fade and heal. This has been one of my major insecurities. And since discovering the repigment and then incorporating the face theory as a lake acid into my routine, I've noticed such a difference. The repigment is so, looks tiny, but this packs a punch. I'd say one bottle as well, because you're using it as a spot treatment, lasts probably around four to six months. So, it kind of helps offset some of the higher price point. This has 15 different pathways for brightening the skin and eradicating excess pigment. You don't need to choose which is the best pigment corrector for you when you've got it all in one product. This, honestly, it featured really highly in last year's video and still, honestly, I can't be without it. And it's the thing that's given me my skin confidence back. So I love it. When it comes to the Azelaic Acid by Face Theory, the reason I love this is because not just Azelaic Acid in a 15% concentration, which in itself, is stunning, quite difficult to find, and I love. But it's also got oat in here, which calms and soothes. One of the major triggers for hyperpigmentation is inflammation in the skin. So if you can get your inflammation under control and dial back with things like oat and azelaic acid, then that's just gonna mean you pigment less if you do get that pimple and that offending zit. This, with this, are my like, ultimate solution and holy grail combo for hyperpigmentation. I think either of the products are like the cheapest drugstore out there, but I think when it comes to tackling something as difficult and you know confidence diminishing as hyperpigmentation, it's worth spending just a little bit more to get those more powerful results. And this combo, 
I don't ever want to be without. So forgive me for kind of cheating and having two joint favourites, but honestly, I can't pick between these two. If you want to get your hands on this face theory product, I actually have a discount code getting you 25% off, which I'll leave on the screen. It's not an affiliate code. I get no commission for it, but you know, who doesn't love a bit of coin off their favourite product? So definitely take advantage of this if you haven't already. So there you have it, guys. My ultimate rundown top 10 favourite skincare items of 2021 so far. A lot could change. I've got so many great brand reviews that I'm looking forward to filming for you guys, so I'm sure there'll be some real cult favourites emerge over the next couple of years, but I just wanted to give a big shout out to everyone that supported me on the journey. From Tom, who got me hooked on the sub-cute skin from the start, to you guys that really convinced me to try Geek and Gorgeous, what I call the European squad. Honestly, when I first heard about Geek and Gorgeous was from you guys over in Europe, shouting about the brand and saying how amazing it was, and I'd have never have discovered them if there wasn't for you guys. So just thank you to everyone that's made a recommendation over the past year, has supported me in this journey and shared your favorite skincare. Let's keep that conversation going and leave me your current go-to holy grail favorite in the comment section below. Wherever you are in the world, guys, stay safe, stay well, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Take care. Bye.